Hey, it's Tori, and welcome to, or oh, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today we have the wonderful Zora and Renee from Blackbriar. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're well. I'm doing very well. Very well as well. Thank you for having okay. us. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, thank you guys for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come on my channel. I know uh, a lot of my subscribers are going to like truly appreciate you being here. Uh, you guys do have your new album coming out very, very soon. Uh, a Dark Euphony releases on September 29th. You've had uh, four singles already come out, which was uh, Crimson Faces, My Soul's, Soul's Demise, Cic uh, Cicada, and Forever in a Day. How have you guys uh, found the response from just like the general public and, and fans that were already there from the beginning? Yeah, very good. Uh, I think mostly we read only like very nice comments and uh, yeah, that's always very heartwarming. So I think the responses have been amazing so far and I hope they are going to love the rest. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to especially hear from like how you guys have laid it out from beginning to end, because obviously you guys choose the, your set list of a specific way of, 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 you know, putting that out to the audience. So I'm excited for that. Um, I just wanted to ask you if you could go into more detail about like what the album is about. Uh, yeah, so it's it's not a concept album, so I can't really tell you like a specific topic because the all the songs are yeah uh, stories on their own. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's it's just a collection of dark but euphonic songs. We think <laughs> with all different stories. Yeah, I was gonna ask you about that because um, like where do you where do you draw that inspiration from? Because obviously, as you said, all the songs have been like from different myths and, and folklore and, and things that have happened like in, in the historical aspects of life. Like where do you draw, like, draw that inspiration from and where do you choose what kind of subject you want to base each individual song on? Uh, yeah, I really like writing about myths and folklore, like you said, and mm -hmm. history as well. But it, it can truly be anything. It's always a surprise to me. <laughs> it's not that I choose uh, like a topic most of the time. Uh, yeah, I always wait for inspiration to come. And then I like to grab it with both of my hands mm -hmm. and write something. Because sometimes it doesn't come for a very long time. And uh, yeah, I get inspired by anything like nature, uh, my personal life as well. And yeah, also folklore a lot. Yeah, books. <laughs> What about you, Renee? I mainly uh, I, I get inspired by Zora because when she writes the you know the lyrics and the melodies, she sends it to me. Mm -hmm. But it's not like um, like I dig deeper into anything else than other than Zora's voice, you know. So mm -hmm. we usually write the music on behalf of her voice, and uh, yeah, that's the the biggest inspiration for the music actually. So. Yeah. yeah, because I start uh, with writing the lyrics, then I come up with a melody without any music still. Uh, yeah, so they are actually making, uh, Renee's making the music based on my vocals. So that's really, really cool. It works really well <laughs> for us. So <laughs> yeah, and you do, you have one of those unique voices too that you don't get to hear a lot. And I, that's what I love about you guys is of, of course Zora's vocals you, you're literally like a siren for me oh, thank <laughs> you so much um which song do you think was like the most challenging to write or like sing for you Zora uh like in this like when back when we recorded the album in studio I think it was the last song we, I picked to sing mm -hmm. but I I hope it was mostly because I was just very tired because yeah. It was the last song, and that was uh, an unwelcome guest. But we did have a rehearsal yesterday, and it went very well. So I I, I blame it on being tired. Tired, <laughs> which yeah. is you know it's understandable. It's a lot of work putting together, you know, starting from the beginning with your writing, and then getting into the studio and recording. And I 
I can't imagine how long that takes because obviously we only see the end product, yeah. <laughs> you know, and you guys yeah. have probably been working on this for, mm -hmm. how long have you guys been working on this for? I think we, yeah, we started, I started uh, writing right after the Cause of Shipwreck was released. Mm -hmm. So basically like two years yeah. <laughs> yeah. in total, yeah. And That's yeah, recording in a studio is always very demanding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I bet. And I, I saw that you had, um, it's used, right? Who produced it? Yeah. 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 We, we've heard his name being pronounced like 10 different, yeah. uh, in, in 10 different <laughs> ways, but... <laughs> Yoast. Yoast. Okay. Yoast. Yes. Yoast. That's the thank you for for correcting me on that. So I know for yeah. future. How was that working with him? It's uh Yoast is an amazing producer and he has like the the most incredible hearing you can mm -hmm. imagine. So Yoast is obviously in a very uh, early stage of our album. He's already you know working with us side by side. So as soon as Sora and myself have the draft version so to say finished then we go to Yoast and he will you know dig deeper into the structure of the song um he will you know think about the arrangement in general but also the orchestration is where Yoast is is basically doing all the work so yeah it's it's just been amazing ever since we started working with him it's um yeah it, even recording the album is completely different from from what we did in the in the past you know so it's uh yeah a very yeah. fruitful collaboration <laughs> I, I used to record my vocals like completely alone in uh in my bedroom uh, for mm -hmm. the fresh fairy tales ep for example and uh i thought back then that i always wanted to do that <laughs> like all alone but now i can't uh think of not not working with yoast on on my recording uh process because it's been amazing i would i would like be recording a whole week for one song back then in, on my own because i just kept like uh not liking it but <laughs> yost is like no this is it it's good we move on so yeah. <laughs> that, that's very good for me <laughs> it's, it's nice to have that the outside perspective because as you say we are our own worst critics on ourselves yeah, exactly <laughs> you know and I, I can only imagine you doing so many takes and being like i can do better i can do better i can do better you keep going on yeah you know, nobody's <laughs> yeah. there to stop you <laughs> yeah. right <laughs> um which song on the album are you like most proud of or which one is like your personal favorite for the both of you far distant land for me yeah. yeah yeah it keeps like changing for me <laughs> yeah. but it's... but far distant land was was one that i uh when we listened to the mixes for the very first time i got a little bit like teary mm -hmm. like <laughs> so that i i guess that would be one of my favorites as well but yeah it's hard to pick one yeah. <laughs> well now that's made me excited to check that one out i can't wait <laughs> <laughs> are you are you just doing are you uh, going to be releasing any more singles from the album once it's come out or is it just the four that you've released so far uh yeah well forever and a day was released like a couple of days Literally, ago yeah. So, <laughs> yeah and uh uh there will be another music video but it will mm. be on the release day okay i'm excited for that you'll definitely see my <laughs> my my reaction up for that one too oh, <laughs> that will be amazing. looking forward to that <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. guys are getting ready to go on your european tour with ad infinitum how are you feeling about that very excited uh <clears throat> yeah we've been you know working towards the tour for so long so uh, it's finally happening uh you know we're getting very close um yeah something that we've um, dreamed about for a long time so yeah, looking and, forward to it. And we will be playing uh, four, I think, four shows when the album hasn't been released yet. So that mm -hmm. will be quite special as well because we are going to play the new songs. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, it, it, been, it would be nice to be in, in that crowd who haven't, you know, they haven't had a chance to listen to the album yet. They get to hear it exactly. live for the first yeah. time. Yeah, it's going oh to be goodness. very weird. It's yeah, gonna be weird. Yeah. <laughs> weird for you guys, but people yeah. in the audience are gonna be just like, oh, "What is this?" You know. Yeah. At least I know I. That's how I would be. <laughs> We're hoping for that, and uh, yeah. you know, I think it will be quite calm in the crowd. You know, they're all listening yeah. to it and well, <laughs> deciding whether they, they like it or not. They cannot sing along yet, so right, <laughs> right. 
<laughs> yeah, I am. Um, I just saw Melissa with she toured with Camelot recently over here in the States. So, yeah. you know, I got to meet with her for like 10 minutes after the show. And she's such a sweetheart. Oh, I know. I know you guys, you know, your music like with Ad Infinitum and, and Blackbriar, it like mixes really well. So it's it's an amazing set list. I wish I could. I wish I could fly, you know, because obviously I'm from England originally. I wish I could go home and, and like go see you oh. guys over there. But <laughs> <laughs> I well, we we wish that we you know for us it was like oh we're going to tour you know some countries in 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 your in the European Union mm -hmm. um but you know we first intended to do a lot more countries but all of our schedules j just didn't allow it so mm -hmm. unfortunately we ended up with uh, you know what we have which is still quite good for us but you know uh, there's so many people that kept sending messages like why aren't you coming here why aren't you coming there uh yeah so you know maybe in the in the future who knows yeah yeah i can well, i can understand <laughs> that too and and it's got to be harder touring in it like great bit in itself what yeah. with after brexit and all of that stuff that happened and getting your yeah. work visas and all of that it's the same for like I, I, I want to ask you guys when you're coming to the US, but I know how hard it is to get over here too. Like, yeah. I would absolutely love to see you guys over here as I know a lot of, of US fans would, but of course the logistics and things like that, people don't realize how hard and difficult it can be to get your visas and everything like that. And, you know, it's expensive as well, so. Exactly. Very yeah. much, yeah. You know, it, it's right on top of our our to-do list basically you know we're we're aiming to come it's to the dream. us yeah. It, yeah it's it's one of our dreams yeah. exactly but we are also working towards it so you know maybe uh uh you know we we can realize this within a couple of years mm -hmm. but like you said it's quite expensive and it it only got more expensive uh, in the past yes. 4 years <laughs> which is for us was terrible because we were actually planning on going there this year uh -huh. so and you know it just didn't work out um but yeah, who knows? Maybe, uh, maybe so sooner than later. Who knows? <laughs> well, I will definitely keep my fingers crossed because I, <laughs> I want to see you guys. You know, I've fallen in love with like your storytelling aspect of your songs and the, and the lyrics is just is what made me fall in love with you guys. And then, of course, your creativity when it comes to your music videos and how you choose to, you know, um, do those as well. Like how. How has that been, like, from the, the ideas to finally putting those out there to the world? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Uh, yeah, with the music videos is something we are very passionate about from the very start. And we actually started to make them, uh, yeah, ourselves as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's something we really love to do and feels like an extension of our music. Yeah, I I usually get a, like a visual idea right away when I write the lyrics. So I I always love to make like a video with ev any song we write. Mm -hmm. That's not possible, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's something we really love to do. Yeah, I just it, what like, you had the behind the scenes of. Um cicada i think it was and you had the character of death and you're just like this is my new friend death and like <laughs> people you know turned it into kind of like a meme i think it was i think that was yeah. hilarious <laughs> yeah yeah it was actually uh, uh, yeah no, you, you go ahead sorry <laughs> no it was uh robin our uh, guitarist who was uh -huh. my friend death <laughs> <laughs> it, it, just when he's death he's our friend for the rest yeah. he's not a friend of ours <laughs> <Not right>. <laughs> <laughs> oh well i'm uh i'm so very excited for you guys i just had uh just one more question which um was of course i am a reaction channel i just wanted to get your thoughts and feelings on the reaction scene like how how do you guys personally feel about reaction channels oh we watch every single one of them and we usually take our time to reply to them as well. Uh, sometimes, we, especially in the past few months, we've been extremely busy, uh, but we're catching up on everything. Uh, I, I personally love it. You know, I, I literally uh, take a Friday evening and I just scroll uh, through YouTube. And and I, especially after a, uh, a release, I, I love to, uh, you know, to see them. And I'm Yeah, we just love to hear what people think of our songs. So yeah, watching those 
reaction videos and seeing the actual reaction yeah, <laughs> yeah that's that's something we we uh yeah, that's amazing. And I really love your reaction videos, by the yeah, way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. It's, so, it's always nice hearing that from the band themselves that, you know, that you, you guys appreciate like what we do and you understand what reaction channels are for. It's kind of become like that new, uh, the music reviews in a way. Like exactly. it's, it's helping push your music out there and, and get to people who probably wouldn't necessarily find you guys if it wasn't for reaction channels. I know. When I started my channel, I didn't know of you guys. I found you through my channel, so I'm very thankful mm. for that and for my my community in 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 that way. So, and now I'm I'm sat here talking to you guys, and it's you know it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, we do appreciate your uh, you know the the time and effort you put into replying to our uh, music as well. Uh, again, it's uh it's always very nice to watch, and uh, I, we're also grateful for your community to you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> give you a, a tip about us <laughs> yeah well that's what i love about like especially my community they're just they're really nice genuine down-to-earth people and they're just like hey you should check out this band and then of course i did and i think the first one was crimson faces and i was like what is this because i absolutely <laughs> like symphonic metal and, and gothic metal and, and darker you know metal is is very much my thing i have always been a huge fan of that kind of stuff so then when i yeah. listened to your music i was like okay now i need more but i can't because i'm a reactor and i, I know <laughs> yeah. people you know want to want me to react to other things and it's been really nice going along on this new album journey with you guys as well and you know being able to check out your music videos and being able to also sit down here and, and to chat with you guys about about the album and yeah i just wanted to say one more time that you know just the whole storytelling of your band is what made me fall in love and i appreciate you guys taking the time out to to chat with me today i won't keep you too much longer um guys thank you so much oh, you're so, you so very much. welcome <laughs> yeah um guys yeah you can pre-order that album right now of course i will leave that link down in the description with all of blackbriar's social medias the youtube channel everything like that please go ahead and support them that way subscribe like comment it really truly does help and yeah i appreciate you guys so much thank you so much for taking the well, time you. out and uh, yeah <laughs> bye guys yeah bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye. see you next time <laughs> <laughs> bye don't forget to like and subscribe to become a torian speaking of becoming a torian all of my social media links and my discord link are down in the description we'd absolutely love to have you come hang out in the discord community and i will see you guys in the next video Fuck on <laughs>